Hi, and welcome to the Random Fact Express. Today's show is all about geography. Today we are going to go around the world with some fun places you have to check out. Or, if not, at least tell your friends you went there to see these things. This topic came in as a request. If you want to make a request, send in ideas or anything like that, send it to randomfactexpress at gmail.com or in any of our social media at Random Fact Express. Let's start with some fun things in the United States first, shall we? Canada, our neighbor to the north, is actually south of us. Well, Detroit is north of Canada. If you leave Detroit and go due south, you will run into Amherstburg, Ontario, Canada. Here is one more what moment for you. Reno, Nevada is actually further west than Los Angeles, California. That's right. California is on the west coast and Nevada is the state to the right of it. So how is this possible? Well, California wraps in as it gets more southern. So by the time California gets to LA in southern Cali, it is more eastern than Reno is. One more fact about California for you. California has more people in it than all of Canada. Take that, Canada. Canada has 35.85 million people. California, 39.14 million people, according to data from 2015. Ha. The Earth has been divided into four parts by some old smart dudes. The northern and, and the southern hemispheres, that is divided by the equator. The, that equator was mapped by some French explorers in 1736. And the prime meridian separates the eastern and the western hemispheres. And that was defined by Sir George Biddle Airy in 1884. So where do these two points of the equator and the prime meridian meet, you ask? Well, they meet at an island called Null Island. It's actually not much of an island. In fact, it's not an island at all. But it is now re represented by a buoy named the Soul Buoy after the soul music genre. This is coordinate 0, 0, If you want to go to it, you will need a boat. It's about 570 kilometers south of Ghana. Speaking of all these hemispheres, Africa, ever hear of it? It is the only continent that is in all four hemispheres. It spans both the eastern and the western hemispheres and the northern and the southern hemispheres. So if you split it in half each way, it's in all four but it's not in each specific quadrant of the Earth. It does not span into the southwestern specific hemisphere. All right, now is the time for the biggest and the smallest. The biggest country is Russia, and the smallest country, the Vatican City. Russia covers 17,098,242 kilometers, and Vatican City is 109 acres. The Magic Kingdom in Florida is 107 acres. Russia is so big, it spans 11 time zones. At one end of Russia, it could be 7 o'clock in the morning, and at the other end, it's 6 in the evening. That is a big time difference. Do you remember the statement, I can see Russia from my house? While Sarah Palin didn't actually say that, she did say, you can actually see Russia from the land here in Alaska. This is true. And in winter, the Little Diomede Island on the U.S. territory and the Big Diomede Island in Russia freezes over and a 1.2 mile ice shelf connects the two. So you can technically walk from the U.S. to Russia, but you're not allowed to. You need to enter the country legally, so do not try this or you could get arrested. This is my favorite of this show and the one I'm going to end with. In the Philippines, there's an island that's within a lake on an island that's within a lake on an island. Stay with me on this one. There's a small island called Vulcan Point that is in the middle of the crater lake. This lake is formed inside of an island called Volcano Island. That is in the middle of a lake named Tall Lake in the Philippines. Did you get all that? This seems like a lot, right? Well, it's not the only one. Ken Jennings, famously from Jeopardy, was looking at lots of photos of Canada on Google Maps for some reason. I guess this is how you get smart. Or once you win $2.5 million from TV, you have nothing to do, so you look at Google Maps. And he found the same situation in Canada. 
These are all part of unnamed islands and lakes. But he found a small island inside of a lake that's inside of an island that's inside of a lake. That's pretty cool. So if you want to visit one but you can't get to the Philippines, you can go to Canada. All right. I hope you enjoyed all these random facts, and I hope you enjoyed Random Fact Express. This is all I have this week about strange geography. But if you can, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, or write a review if you like the show. Check out all of our socials at Random Fact Express. If you have a topic idea or a random fact that you would like to hear on the Random Fact Express, send us an email at randomfactexpress at gmail.com. Thank you. See you next time.